Hi, my name is Justin Lowe. I'm a freshman business major in the University Honors of Texas, attending Texas A&M University. Today in this video, I want to give an executive summary pertaining to the real-world issue of improving institutional decision-making, in which I did research on during winter break and their, the co first couple weeks of school. Decision-making is about how institutions like companies or the government itself uses information it gathers from databases or other sources and analyzes the information to make decisions about what the institution should do. It is important that the correct decision be made because the wrong decision can lead to severe repercussions for the institution. In the example of a business company, the wrong de decision can lead to the misallocation of resources, such as cash that could have been spent someplace else that would have benefited the company. The misallocation of resources causes the company to lose its competitive advantage against the competitors and may cause a loss of market share. Not only are companies affected by decision making, but government as well, such as what policies to implement. The wrong policies implemented can lead to negative impl implications to certain groups of people, such as misallocation of resources and may even cause conflicts between different peoples and countries. From the five sources I've, I have analyzed in my annotated bibliography that deal with improving institutional decision making, I have came to the conclusion that the ways to improve institutional decision making include analyzing data by looking at the way data is presented, evaluating how the presentation data can be improved to improve this institutional decision making, as well as educating people on how to improve their decision making through the presentation of decision making techniques teaching people on how to better interpret evidence and advocating that more resources would be spent on educating people on improving institutional decision making. All in all, improving institutional decision making will impact me in the future because there will be situations in Texas, there will be situations where I have to make a snap decision on what to do. As I continue my studies at A&M, I will keep on exploring ways to improve the institutional decision making, whether it is through the future classes I take at A&M with real life experience. Although some may say that just one person will not be able to impact the process of institutional decision making, the significance of me studying ways to improve institutional decision making is far reaching as I will be able to teach others on how to improve institutional decision making and make the correct decisions on my part.